Here's how to play Fairly Odd Parent Breaking the Rules. So, normally Fairly Odd Parent Breaking the Rules wouldn't work. So here's how to get it to work. Now you go to install it, right? You're gonna install it like normal. You're going to install the game like normal. Now this is on Windows 10. I'm actually wanting a um, custom theme for Windows 10. So if I go to Winver, you can see this is Windows 10. So if you want a video on how to, to make Windows 10 look more like Windows 7, I might make a video on that later, but you accept the terms, go next. Now it'll tell you why right here requires QuickTime 6.1. Do you want to install QuickTime 6.1? You're going to say yes. Because you will need that. You don't need to install a desktop icon. So basically. You're going to click. OK. And you're going to click next. Install. And then it will run you through the um, QuickTime setup. Click I agree, next, next. So you're basically going to go through um, all of this. Close. Now. When you play, it's not going to work properly. So let me hit play. Say virtual memories to... You can actually fix that by running it in compatibility mode. So you can go into the games folder, um, THQ, Nick Games, and then you can right click and go to one and compatibility mode. Now you're gonna, it's gonna start the play and then it's going to immediately freeze. So, here's actually how to fix this. Now, when you fix this, the only things you won't get are the um, logo screens and the intro. But the rest of the game will work. So, anybody knows a better fix so that it works properly, let me know. But... So, what you're going to want to get is, you're going to want to search up DG Voodoo. And then you're going to want to go right here. And you're going to want to get DG Voodoo 2. And you're going to want to get this one. You're going to want to save it. And then you're going to want to open it. Now it might give you issues. 
um, because of your antivirus, so you might have to, like, you might have to allow it through your antivirus. It's perfectly fine, but it just gives issues. So you'll have to, when it block, you have to allow the file through. But basically, you'll need to basically copy and paste this. And then copy and paste this. And then, run this as a minister, hit one anyways. And then make sure, your settings are all set. Um, and then we move DG Voodoo watermark if you don't want the watermark. Apply. Okay. And now you should launch. And um it should work properly this time. But you won't get the um you won't get the logo screens and you won't get the intro, but everything else will work. So now when you launch it you're gonna hit yes. It still froze, so let me, let me figure this out. I'll come back when I, I think I might have found the issue, so let's see if it launches. Let me fix. Sorry about that. Sorry about that, so I figured out what it was. So in order to get this game to work, you're going to install it like we did in the beginning. And then when you download DG Voodoo from the site we went to, you're going to go into the, um, from the zip, you're going to go into the MS folder. After you copy the DG Voodoo CPL EXE um, and the config file, you're going to go in here and go into the x86 one and you're going to copy all of these files into the folder and then you're going to launch it and it works. So as you can see the intros just don't work. So as you can see now it doesn't crash though but the intro scenes don't work. But see, once you get here, it works. And now it actually shows up. And let's see, we can log in. So see, the cutscene doesn't work. So we have to skip it. And then from this point on, the rest of the game should work. You shouldn't get any blank screens. The game should appear. Um, there you go.